So doing a review on these cabinet jacks, we're gonna cover how they work and all. I got a four pack and they did come with a carry bag and I was actually surprised they all easily fit in the carry bag so you're not gonna tear the bag so it should last. Um, but I got the ones that go out to about 10 feet. They do make smaller ones that go on top of a counter to put cabinets above a counter. I got these longer ones that go from roughly four and a half to 10 feet to hang cabinets on the wall like you see here. So they do have pivoting tops as you see in the pictures on their website where they can be angled to support drywall, things like that. They could be put like this. We do have some nice rubber feet on here, which grip great. Once you get it under the cabinet, we have a micro adjust to get the cabinet even. And then you just hit the button to release that. Now to make your major adjustments, you're gonna turn this knob here, slide it where you need it. Now there's a paint mark on here, you see there. Line this paint mark up with the holes in the side and that is what will allow it to click into these predetermined positions if that's where you're needing it. Once you have your major adjustment done, tighten this knob back down and then like I said, you have your micro adjust here. So let's go ahead and cover how to use them. Now when I first started shopping for these, I was under the impression they would hold the cabinet by themselves. Naturally, they won't. The cabinet can move on them and sway around. They're to help support the weight. So if you're gonna hang cabinets completely by yourself, totally possible, um, here's how you need to do it. Have your height already adjusted on these, obviously, and everything tightened down. On your swivel feet, you will have a lock nut on there. So once you have this level, make sure you tighten down both these nuts so it doesn't pivot on you. So then have your two jacks against the wall right where you're gonna need them. Now again, once you put this cabinet up, you're gonna have one hand to work with because you still need to hold the cabinet there and then you can let it down on the stands to support the weight, but you still need to hold it against the wall so it doesn't go anywhere. Have everything within arm's reach you're gonna need if you're doing this by yourself. I already have my tape measure stretched out to where I need it to find the slats in the wall. I have my driver on hand, my drill on hand, screws, level, everything's within distance. You just have to eyeball getting the stands level. Make sure it's flat against the wall. And now I just have to hold it against the wall. The stands will support the weight. Now I have one screw holding it against the wall, my hands are free. Now I can go ahead and make sure this thing's totally level. And there, once you have two screws holding in, we're good. We can go ahead and release these. And set them against the wall for the next cabinet. So, my opinion of them, I love them. Um, for the price point, you can't beat them. I'm actually going to be getting the shorter set next for doing cabinets above a countertop. Those extend roughly two to four feet, something like that. Um, but these here are very well worth the money. Anybody running a business, instead of hiring two guys to go hang a cabinet, you only need one. So they'll pay for themselves real quick and easy. So that concludes my review video on these cabinet jacks. Really hope it helped you out. If it did, please hit the video with a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, always more stuff coming. And as always, I'll put a link in the description down below on where to purchase these. Thanks for watching.